Neil, Dimitri, Harris, and Roxy, the other Roxy. Um, I just recently started channeling. My channeling is quite different. I more channel the ideas and answers and concepts and less specifics so far. But I certainly feel the presence and I certainly, certainly feel the inspiration. I feel when they come and uh, I feel when, when, they, when they leave and life between the channelings is now, now very different. I'm mostly shaken by energies wandering around and sometimes it's quite pain, painful. Uh, I channel now mostly Rojo and she will introduce herself. And um, our guest is Daniel Andy, who is my old acquaintance through Bashar Group. He um, drives the Bashar Discussion Group, which is around for many, many years, and it's very um, coherent. People are very nice there. So thanks, Daniel, for joining. And he was updating us on their latest announcements from Bashar, we have to catch up. I didn't hear the latest ones. So new predictions and new bro uh, new new insights have been brought. And if you like what you hear, support us by sending the PayPal donations to max at humancolony.org. And I offer private channeling sessions now. I will leave now and see what Rojo will bring. Um, and um, um, if I go for too long, um, help me to finish because last times I did two long sessions and I was completely exhausted and it was not good for health. I need to do shorter ones now. Hmm. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Uh, Rojo here. I'm still coming through, populating the body, but I already start to speak. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Daniel, Rox and Dimitri and Harris, and welcome those who will watch us later. <sighs> yes, I am, I am a Yael, young, male, female energies together. I look like a tall gray, and I'm orbiting the Earth on a ship, on one of the ships, and I'm excited to start channeling through here, through this channel. It's uh, my main interest is communications, interactions, relations between humans, between each other, and between humans and us and other star people. Uh, much interesting things, many interesting things, much interesting stuff I find. I visit the earth once in a while and walk on the streets as a human, I transformed into a human for a short period of time, very superficially, nothing involved so far. Uh, I will continue my main I will continue my main topics topic of lay days that many of our members the members of this community are so elevated in their spirits, so far away from physicality, so far into the higher dimensional ideas. 
where they uh, underperform or fail their opportunity to experience physical reality. So while others we need to bring up, to open up, to awaken the members of light worker community, the main idea is of grounding, of experiencing physicality. How can you experience physicality? Just by shifting your focus of attention from up to here, down, here and now sensation, physical life, in general. Of course it is your choice. Of course, sometimes physicality brings you down, it feels negative. But look around, there is so much beauty around, so much nice things and people. Yeah. And of course it's up to you, it's your choice how to perceive, what perspective to take on your physical experiences, even the painful ones, even the ones which are negative, which go down, which bring you down. You take, you take how to perceive that. And the main thing here is not actually material stuff, but communication to material people, communication to light workers and other people that excite you and other people who are excited when communicated to you. That is the key. Building a physical local network of people near you, light workers near you, people who can you can meet, people who can touch who you can do healing with each other, people who you can have fun with, build your local network. Yes, remote network is already being built, but now is the time to go local, go local and find local friends, bond with them, establish relations, not necessarily close ones, some of them will be closed, but also establish distant relationships, find acquaintances, build your local network, you grow your phone book and start gathering together. That is the key to ascension and now is the time to start to grow your light worker network locally. Light workers become local networkers. That would be the message of late weeks and now and there are many ways and tools to do that. I invite the discussion. Thank you for listening. Any questions and comments? Hi, how are you? Dimitri, nice to hear you. Nice you fixed your microphone. Sound, yes. And we spoke last time about your massage therapy. Yes. Right. So I have a question. My question would be in the future are we going to um, not feeding anymore? Just feed ourselves with energy and magnetism. In general, the direction is yes, yes. Just fix shifting from physical and chemical to more of genetic energy and different forms of energies and just conscious shifting of the reality from one state to another. All of these 
tools already being used right now here on the surface. Matrix, are you familiar with Matrix Energetics by Richard? No. Missing the last name. Bar Bart something, yes. Bart Check it. out Matrix Energetics on YouTube. That is one of the ways when you just use your mind and soul and consciousness and free will just to shift things from one state to another. No more tools, just the conscious shift of the reality. Switch from one timeline time to another by intent and bring your client, your patient with you to a healthy reality. Yes. Please discontinue the discussion. Richard Barlett, yes. How far are you advanced in energy healing at the moment? Where, what is your state of research? What do you mean about state of research? Uh, state, where are you? You, I, I know you are experienced massage therapist. Yeah. How much did you learn about other areas of energy healing, alternative healing, and other tools of healing? Mm, not much, except writing. Mm. Um. Yes. <sighs> Not much. If you have some idea for me, why not? What are your favorite ways of learning? Um, video. I like watching video and that's, I like uh, learning in this way. Yes, YouTube is a great tool. Are you in contact with, your, with other local energy healers? Uh, not really. I just moved here like five months ago, so <clears throat> not... Yes. Are you living in a populated area or not very much populated area? Uh, yes, I'm living close to Houston, so there's a lot of people. Yes, yes. Uh, typically alternative healers come together and form groups by interest. They are pretty fluid, but they have different venues, psychic fairs, they're usually called psychic fairs and energy healing fairs and Reiki healing, Reiki share, where many of them come together and you can come and meet them face to face and chat with them. It would be nice for you to experience this face-to-face -face when they teach their class or sometimes they have free introductory talks where they demonstrate things because there you, you can feel the energy in addition to YouTube videos. Yeah, I see what you Qigong mean. Qigong is... Yeah. yeah, and I'm learning a lot by watching or copying copy people, so I can do that pretty easily. So if I see someone doing something, I can reproduce very easy some way. So if ah. someone me particularly, I can do it right away almost. I see. Have you considered becoming educated as a chiropractor? Uh, no, not really. Mm, just look into that. It might be not very affordable, but there is so many more 
involve patients through chiropractor network than through alternative healing. As you already are in mainstream type of healing, going into alternative would uh, would put you in a disadvantage in economic way because there is less of patients available for alternative healing than for mainstream healing. But chiropractic uh, healing is covered by insurance, so there is many more people, there is a tradition there, and again you can use uh, your other, it's very conducive, very open to the ideas of energy healing as well. In particular, pay attention to laser therapy, cold laser therapy, infrared uh, laser therapy, low-level laser therapy. These are already available and many of chiropractor and massage therapies piece are using that. It is real thing. It is a real thing. And in particular, this laser therapy is very compatible with energy therapy because it opens up the blockages and you can can combine your Reiki with the laser therapy. It's like, how do you compare? Okay. It's like having an additional energy pumping but you make it smarter by your your intention and your other uh, hand movements and other ways and stones and things of that sort. They are not the same thing. A laser therapy works in one physical way and energy therapy works through ethereal way, but they play together very well. And many of massage therapists have different uh, different low level lasers. Some of them are very inexpensive and some of them are quite expensive. But you look into that. That might be might be of interest to you. Is it now? Is it of interest to you now? Yes, yes. Thank you. Ah, interesting. Oh, hello. We have more people. I invite any discussion. Bring your topics. Can I ask a question? Ah, hello. I don't recognize your voice. Hello. Hi, Rojo. This is Harris. Hi, Harris. I don't remember speaking to you. Did we speak before? I think um, I answered, I added to what we were discussing as a group. Um, but ah. not, Yeah, I, I don't think in this way, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to speak to you in this way. Oh, the honor is my Harris. Welcome to the community. This is a wonderful group of light workers. I enjoy chatting with them very much. Yes, please bring your questions, topics, sharings. Perfect, perfect. I'm just um, wondering, can you tap into any information about my the idea of my hybrid kids? Ah. All right. Uh, this is very much blocked. I can guess, but not really top um, directly. Let's discuss it. What do you know? I know, um, okay, from a dream and also after, I know about a triplet. I know about... About three, what? Excuse me, about what? Triplet. I have like three three. Kids. Yes, triplet. Yes. Yeah, they look like they're they're girls. They look like triplets. <laughs> they're triplets. Yes. But this is what I have. I I only remember a lot the discussion in one dream, the discussion I had with them. But that was it. Everything else is just you know we just send each other love. So I don't really have more. <sighs>
I don't have direct contact with them, but the image I got, which could help you to uh, link to them, is a seagull wearing a, a necklace made of rainbow pearls, if that helps. A seagull wearing a necklace? No, not wearing. Carrying, I'm sorry, carrying, and it, it's um, big. Big. big, okay, <laughs> that's very... A necklace funny. of uh, pearls, uh, rainbow-colored pearls. Rainbow that's all I get. Yes. Wow. Just, just when you see, when you want to talk to them, you can bring that image, and that might help you to, to link. Wow. Uh, Thank you very um, much. I, that is something I uh, know I'm going to see very soon. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Thank you for understanding. I'm sorry I cannot bring you more. Are there any oh. other topics which you wanted to bring up? Oh, that's perfect for now. I'm really delighted about that. You did very well. Thank you so much. Ah. Thank you. What is your highest excitement? What is your mm, excitement of today and yesterday? Um, because the my highest excitement changes anyways but um I would say of today uh, uh, right now is them <laughs> right now all right them. beyond the hybrid children did you apply for hybridization with us did you submit your application I don't think I don't I didn't do anything physically I did not do that physically as in you know uh, submitted on the uh, on the website uh, I did not do that. So, but I believe maybe I did it, um, you know, with my heart somehow. I, I don't mind it. I just can't remember. You know, but I didn't do it from the website. But you are familiar with the idea of applying through the website. I yeah, I'm familiar. I've seen some yeah some hangouts. I'm familiar with that. All idea. right. On humancolony.org, you can submit your application. And um, having a formal application helps to you and to us. Yes. That's correct. Uh, hybridization idea. Which star species are most attractive to you? What's your interest? Who, which ones do you like better? Or which ones do resonate with you better? We need. I, I mean, I, I love all of them unconditionally, but registering uh, to me um, more, I know I have a lot of Pleiadian, so I have that. I, 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 I love Octurian. I'm resonating a lot to the Naga now as well. I'm uh, resonating to a lion. Uh, there is a lion species that I'm resonating a, a lot with right wow. now. I know I will be walking with them, so I'm really happy about that. Um, what else? I resonate with yeah, yeah as well. <laughs> I'm pretty glad speaking to you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, the list goes on. I, you know. <laughs> so the topic of today, I don't know if you were here when I preached about connecting locally to other light workers. How do you go about your local connections? Do you have a light worker network locally? I have a connection locally. I would have a connection of friends that yes. are, yeah, that, that are there uh, whereby, whereby we can mastermind. And then sometimes we kind of try to be at the same place at the same time, but it doesn't always happen because most of us are like spontaneous. <laughs> we just, you know, we just take it by the moment. But um, yeah. sometimes we find each other in the same place, and it's really beautiful to to do that. And also, um, others that are not, I wouldn't say, let's say, hundred percent like mine, just other humans. Anytime I go out, I, I I connect. I use it as an opportunity to connect to anybody that I meet. So it's it's me knowing that I am sharing this light, and what I found out is a lot of people have actually surprised me, uh, and they've gotten into that knowing. 
you know, and which which brings a lot of happiness when you know there are others like you that are actually waking up or actually awoke. Or, and we are all waking up, you know, in different levels. So I, I would say in every way you are, you can share this thing. You know, no one is um, omitted from that. We are all the same. We are all one. So locally, wonderful, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Locally, I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing I'm doing fine. I'm doing happily locally. <laughs> Yeah. How do you? I, I I sense you're easily connect. You you can easily connect to people. How do you do that? What's your approach? How do you connect to the new people? How do you keep the old connections? What's your approach? There is one main thing that is underlining everything, which is the love factor that is underlining. That is one big thing to actually get used to and master in this way where it is unconditional love because everything comes in within that uh, there is clarity in within that there is respect in within that so if you're going to approach somebody else or somebody else uh, somebody comes to you um, and you are in that within that love you have that very very large spectrum you know you'll be able to communicate with them the best ways because you have this clarity you know you're in within that love uh, the, the only time it, there is a difficulty in getting to communicate with others is when you don't have that love there. So it 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 blocks it. It's not you know you wouldn't understand yourself. So one thing I would say is if you can feel that love for yourself and feel that love for your surroundings or these people or whoever you meet, that is just the best way. And I know it's not that easy to get to that stage, but practice does make perfect where you get it that nah this is better love is better you keep trying you keep doing it and doing it and you realize each time that love wins love just has all the answers in it so I, I would that's one thing that I would leave with people if you can really uh, find yourself loving at, 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 at all times you find it very simple and easy to to relate with people because you don't have anything you know you're holding back you just want to keep that love do you understand? Thank you much. Yes. Unconditional love is the best tool, the best key that open uh, opens many doors, many locks. I, I wish you much success in your shining the light, sharing the love expanding yourself, expanding your network and playing together with your peers awakened and awakening enlightened and being enlightened <sighs> closed-minded and opening up I wish you much success I invite any other sharing Anybody who haven't spoken today? Daniel, would you like to speak? Sean, do you like to speak? Hello, I just I just wanted to observe. I just now popped in, so Kind of ah. observing at this point. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If you like to observe, it is fine. Yeah. Hello. Welcome anyway. Hello. So, uh, what exactly is a light worker? Oh. Ah. All right. What exactly is light worker? Anybody has an answer? Does anybody can anybody help here? What's a light worker? Exactly. I uh, just a word. Yeah. Just a word combination light worker. It's the opposite of heavy worker. 
<laughs> How about that? All right. Ah, light worker is uh, just a word. Many people are calling themselves light workers, and many people are light workers and are not calling them light work themselves light workers. I would say we use it usually as a name for people who are awakened to the idea of ascension. Hmm. Yes. Okay. To the idea that humanity evolves, that aliens are not only exist, not only exist, but also are present and heavily involved in current affairs on Earth. Also, light workers, yeah. of course, work with light energies and uh, different ideas of dimensionalities. And many tools are used, which you know, like astral projection, astral travel, communication with the spirits, communication with other energies, healings, meditation. In the past, many of light workers were called different other names, such as hippies uh, and many others. Mm. Many religious people would be light workers as well by idea because they carry the same light and they share the love. Mm, so you don't have to necessarily believe in us to be a light worker, but commonly named light workers are the ones who know about who we are. Uh, here is the definition: light worker is the one who knows who Bashar is and loves Bashar. That's light worker. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So that's a pretty clear definition. Can I just add one line to that, just to say uh, yes, a light yes. worker, a light yes. worker is an idea of someone who changes or transmutes darkness into light. So you can put it in that way generally. Absolutely. Okay. Now you have to define darkness and light. <laughs> but that's okay. I I would agree anyway. Go Okay, cool, 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 Yeah, cool, please cool, cool. share your discussion. What's your highest excitement? What's of interest today? What brought you here? How did you find us? Uh, how did I find you, you guys? Well, I, I follow the channel on YouTube. But my highest excitement is um, I met a couple of people, like a couple. And uh, one is a... Uh, they're both Wiccan. However, all roads lead to the same thing. Uh, but... The chick is a, uh, a healer, and uh, her husband is a kind of an energy vampire uh, mixed with a, uh, a werewolf. So it's wow. kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Not unusual. Excitement is huh? Not unusual, though. <laughs> so, yeah, they're pretty cool. That's my highest excitement seeing seeing them. They're pretty they're pretty relaxed people. <laughs> oh. So you just met the people and your highest excitement lately has been just mm -hmm. to learn from them and ha be transformed by their energies, play of energies. Yes. Yeah. Ah. It's nice Tell having me more about it's nice them. What's up? Tell me more what you learned. What's there? What is the relationship? Is it healthy? I don't know. It's too early to tell. However, oh. um, he did have a vision of like them walking behind me on the street, right? And then it came to be, if that makes sense. Ah, so you have pre had premonition and then it manifested. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. 
do you have any conceptual questions? Conceptual. Is there any miracles or mysteries which you wish to have clarified, solved, have a perspective? Hmm. I want to know how to get in contact with uh, with extraterrestrial species. That would be cool. Having uh, extraterrestrial friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, how would I? Of course. That? <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, that was just answered a few minutes ago. Apply through humancolony.org. There is a button apply. Write, write in text. I apply and specifically choose what you, in which extent do you wish to be in contact with us. But usually that helps. And then be Pay attention to what happens next few nights. We usually come and say hi. Yes. Okay. Is it like being we, there in the physical form, or like no, no, no. You get like a telepathic thing, and I'll hear uh, you guys talking. Yes, it is telepathic, and it is holographic projection, spiritual projection. We are not permitted for physical contacts which are obvious. We are not permitted to physically interact with humans in a way which is memorable. Why we is can that? walk here in a hidden form, but not in a form where we can reveal ourselves and leave a trace physically. Why is that? Is it because um is it because uh, that we so often guys for something else? Or I didn't hear your question because what? Oh, why why can't you guys uh, appear in the physical form? How do you have to? Uh... We are in uh, in a state of negotiation with your governments okay. and beyond governments. <laughs> organs of collective government. It's all still government, but an official okay. gov official and unofficial governments. So they are strongly um, against. They are afraid. They still delay. Yeah, we offer a lot of assistance. We offer to establish the contact. We offer some information. And as things develop, we would help maybe with technologies if it is appropriate. Yeah. But um, these people are not ready. They are convinced that the contact will cause, or any evidence, any physical, even hidden physical contact will potential cause a disaster, including economic disaster, political disaster, and collapse of social structures. And it's not completely incorrect. Not completely incorrect. Okay, yes, okay. this model is possible. Also, there is a collective consciousness which also is not fully ready, especially the physical consciousness. That minds of the people on the surface. People are not ready yet. Not all people are ready. Most of the people are right. not ready yet. I would yes. like to think I'm ready, but I, I get that. I get that. That, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of fear involved in it. Which is kind of sad, really. It's kind of sad, but... Oh, that makes us sad as well. As we know, the time <laughs> is ticking. The time of change is now. It is yeah. urgent that the humanity evolves and solves many of the problems and drops many of the mm, belief systems and moves forward. Otherwise, right, the right. system is right now shaken and ready to collapse. Yeah. Yes. Right now we're kind of stagnant and I, I see that. Okay, well, I'm not going to I take up too much more of your time. Other people probably have uh, questions, oh, too. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Uh, if you wish, and apply right. and invite us. We will connect to you. And also, we invite you to visit us in astral form. 
we would assist with oh, that I haven't, well. I, haven't, I haven't been able to do that because uh, when I when I relax a lot, my throat all of a sudden makes more spit. And so I swallow the spit, said spit, and it ruins like the thing and I have to restart. Like, what do I do, like, with that? How how do I get past that? I understand. I understand. Um. Yes. Uh, try relaxing in sitting position, mouth down. So if your speed goes out, just goes down. Not in the throat. Yes. Um, do more of that and try to disconnect your speed release from your meditation release. It's just practice. It's possible to learn to disconnect. It's subconscious, but you can train yourself not to do that. Yes, it, oh, no. I guess it just takes just... the elevation of mood. Taste wonderful. We become. Uh, so excited with the transition that you salivate so pleasantly, um, is, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you for talking sure. to me. Yes. Mm. Oh, You're just, welcome. I just, I just wanted to add to that, if you guys don't mind. Oh, of course, uh, please. Just wanted to let Jonathan know that also he can alternatively do this uh, from his dreams. He's already doing this. So when you when you're asleep, you're you go out in astral form, and you're communicating all the time. So you could that's an alternative if you want to kind of get into your dreams and and see how you could be lucid in it or just know that you are communicating from your dreams anyway astrally. Um, the, 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 the way from meditation, that's one way, and then the dreams, you're there as well. Just so you know, Jonathan. Yes, when you go dreaming, go to sleep, just take with you the intention to remember the dream and to be conscious in your dream. Lucid dreaming means conscious dreaming when you are present there. Your physical personality is not fully dissociated from from the dreaming personality. And then hello, as hello, you are Rojo? in the dream... Rojo, yes, I say something hello. Hello, Rojo. May I say something? I need to interrupt you at this point. Uh, okay, I can't dream wonderful. at Thank all. you much. Thank you very much. I, I don't dream at all, even though I intend to do so before I sleep, but it's not working with me. You know? I want this lucid dreaming so much, and it's never happening. When I dream, it's very sc scarcely. You know? It happens once in a time. And at that time, it's just plain stupid dreams, you know? But I wanted to have it lucid, really. So, yes. what shall I do? Yes, my take on that, I know your energy already somewhat, and your energy is mm, quite polarized. It's, it's there for your protection. You are very enlightened in a very mm, rigid society, very rigid environment, and you're childhood experience is very rigid so if you were to drop these walls separating different parts of your psyche then you became could become much more vulnerable and you are strong you are strong because you can separate and protect different parts of your psyche so as you break these barriers you could become a lucid dreamer, but maybe your main purpose is 
go beyond that. Your main purpose to pick your highest excitement, follow your highest excitement, and in a way use this lucid dreaming just as a tool because lucid dreaming is just a tool and I sense you have more beyond that. You have more interest beyond that. So, true, true, true. you understand, that, right? Yeah, true. Uh, because you want to remain strong. You don't want to become weak. If you find yourself in a protected situation when all goes smoothly, you're very protected, then take off the walls. Put your wish to take off the walls. You become more vulnerable, but you're protected by your friends and family and things like that. Society, when you are protected, that is a way to go. Then you can drop your old barriers and enjoy your free mind, that free fly of, of the soul. You can integrate better. Right now, for your protection, because you are in such a, an interesting situation, you want to remain strong. So, And I know you want to remain strong. So I suggest do it stepwise and calibrate every time. You don't want to awaken to your dreams because this could be nightmares at the beginning. Only by integrating everything and digesting the fear, digesting the trauma, digesting the pain, you can clarify and become lucid dreamer and have wonderful happy dreams. Right now there is there are too many encapsulated pains. If you let them out, you will be scared of yourself. You don't want that yet. Do it step by step. As you open these vessels with pains and accept them with love, you will let, will leave, you will let the pain out and you will end up with no pain and then you become lucid dreamer. How it's going to happen this? soon with me. It's going to happen soon with me. I have good intentions every time I sleep. There, It's deep sleep all the time when I sleep. Deep and, and nice. And I want to sleep even more. It's your choice. The time is an artificial construct. It's your choice. Don't hurry. Take your time. Do it as it feels comfortable. The main thing is the passion. The main thing is following your highest excitement. The main thing is the inner knowing that you do what you want to do. And the rest are the, just the tools. Yes. I hope it helps. Hello, Roha. Hey. I don't recognize your voice. Hello. Hi. Mary. Hi. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Um, it's a pleasure to be here and, and chatting in that wonderful uh, group. I'm pretty good Roha. today. Thank you. Roha. Roha. Yes, hi, yes. I uh, dream every night. Yes. Uh, but most of them I don't remember when I get up in the morning. Yes. I don't remember my dreams, but I do know it's pleasant dreams. They're not, um, they're very pleasant, and uh, uh, I know that uh, the dreams I have is um, about, uh, like, you know, dreaming about that I've been to, like, other ships, mother ships, and other stars. Um, but I don't remember the detail, and sometimes. Uh, but I, I can, I can just feel that you know I've been there, but I don't remember the details of it. Mm, I mean, uh, I don't know. Should I meditate about it, or um, should I mean I don't know why I don't remember. You know, I like to remember my dreams. It's quite all right. Uh, it's okay not to remember the dreams. It is there by design. You see, you came here to physical reality. You are eternal spirit, very 
complex, very strong eternal spirit, and you have to squeeze yourself in this physical body. Only a small part of your big eternal spirit can fit in this physical body. And it can survive there only for a while, and then it has to reconnect, re-upload, download information, exchange the information with the rest of the uh, tree of life. So that's the function of the dream. And then you have to return from this wonderful world back to a restricted world of 3D. And that's where the dream stops and there is a specific mechanism where the, the switch is happening. You switch from one vibration to another and forget. There is a mechanism of forgetfulness. It's placed there specifically to make you stronger in physical life. Ah. Also, what you sense in dreams is usually not translatable to physical mind. It is so different. It is these are so different concepts which don't even don't even have the words to describe. So whatever you do remember is Mm -hmm. A translation, very simplified, a beach translation of what is happening in the dreams. But yes, if you wish to know the dreams, if it is, you think it is right for you, before you go to sleep, pronounce in words a formula, come up with a formula which, which works for you. Mm -hmm. I, like I do want to be conscious in my dreams, and I, when I wake up, I want to remember my dreams. That's simple. Something of that kind. Speak to yourself. Yes. Pronounce very specifically in specific digital words, discrete words. Pronounce your intention. You might repeat it several times if you wish to. Mm -hmm. When you're dreaming, try to keep the link to your physical mind, between your higher mind and physical mind, try to keep this link. Little bit of, a little bit of awakening, but usually what happens when you try to realize, oh, I am in the dream, you get so excited, you awaken right away, oh, I lost it. So try to stay there, not to be too excited, not to be, if you breathe too much of your physical mind in your dream mind, it just destroys the dream. You have to like keep the lean, kind of keep the talk, but not to be fully there, unless you learn how to do that without destroying the dream. Yeah. And then before you wake up, in that mm -hmm. moment, or maybe in the middle of the night, where the dream is ended, and you're not fully awakened, that is the key moment where you want to translate from what you knew in a dream into the words and keep the words because you cannot keep the whole image of the dream. You can keep only the translated image. Right. You keep mm -hmm. the words and then remember them and when you wake up keep repeating them because they are destined to be wiped out. There is a mechanism. Wipe out like like uh how you call them on the on the car windshield uh, wiper. Cleaner. Wipers, yes, they wipe like zoop, zoop. that's what happens when you go out of the dream. It's like, here's my dream, and psh, where is it? You have to take it out and record it. Yes, <laughs> I do. I like at night uh, before I go to sleep, I um, I do request uh, that uh, please, you know, I want to remember when I wake up in the morning, I like to remember my dream. And I want to. I like to remember everything happens in my dream, um, and I do request that every night, every single night I go to bed before I go to bed, I do request that. Um, so yeah, I think it's a good idea when I wake up middle of the night. Um, I uh, try to remember the words, uh, not the whole dream, but uh, uh, the the some words in the dream and then uh, when I get up in the morning uh, hopefully you know I can connect those words with the whole dream yeah keep in mind 
some of the unhappy dreams are from us. We send you tests. We are testing the humanity. How much are you ready for different types of things, including the contact, including economic, financial, um, physical disasters, weather disasters, seismic disasters, social disasters. So we unfortunately, it's unpleasant, but it's wiped out anyway. Mm -hmm. We test how ready you are. The most essential one of the tests is how how forgiving you are. We test your ability to forgive. We test your ability to propensity to fight. How ready are you to physically fight? So these kind of things we come and test and test and um, forgive us for that. And that has been going for quite a while and that helps us and also it helps you to understand yourself better. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. I didn't know so that. Even if bad things happen in your dream, it doesn't mean it will happen. It could mean that you are being tested. Mm -hmm. It's not only us doing that, but we do that too. Who else does Sometimes that? Sometimes. you yell. Say again. Who, who, uh, who else does that beside you yell? Oh. Your higher self mm -hmm. would uh, would play different scenarios before these scenarios are uh, played out in your life and see what works better. Because some of the lessons you can take without manifesting them in physicality. So it's your mind, but play with different scenarios. Sometimes it's called template reality. You play in the template reality. And some of the templates could be translated in a physical life, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they will be translated word to word, letter to letter. They could be translated in a very different way. The dream is not the prediction of the physical reality. It's not a blueprint. It's more like a brainstorming before it is manifested. It's brainstorming. Uh. Yes. And is it our choice? Is it is it our choice to um, uh, when to like uh, to manifest it in in our life if if you want to the the scenario yes. that is playing yes playing in our dream different scenarios uh, is it then our choice when like uh, is it our choices um, that we make uh, in in our uh, uh, real life? Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You are manifesting your reality. Yes. I mm -hmm. um, yes. manifest that in our reality. What mm -hmm. do you think? Uh, the law of attraction. What do you think there? The mechanism is such that you choose your highest excitement. You create a vibration, not a simple one, but a, but a complex vibration by striving to get somewhere. And that vibration shifts you from one branch of reality to another one where which is more aligned to your vibration. If you are worried about certain things, you face this worry. You start noticing the things in the reality which confirm your worries. If you are choosing to be happy and creative and focus on creative aspect, creative higher ex excitement, that brings you, attracts you to the reality, to the branch of the timeline where this is manifest. Yes. That is the main mechanism how you manifest things. You you create a vibration, create an idea, dream about the idea, they dream about the idea, and then you've been attracted to the timeline, to the branch of the timeline where you can play out, manifest, when it is manifested, and you get your lessons on this timeline. Right. Does it help? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I guess the key to uh, living according to our highest vibration is to just uh, follow our excitement and just uh, be 
um, happy about life and living and uh, you know high, uh, follow our highest uh, joy and excitement. That's the key to um, to live um, in this um, 3D reality. Uh, Absolutely. For, me as, a, for Absolutely. me as a human being. Absolutely. Especially in the dark time, on the dark side of the loop, when you go down and you don't have anything to hold on to, you might make a choice. I will hold on to the light. I will be happy no matter what. I will accept and strive for best even if I don't have any hope. Right. When you are in a, on the top, it's very easy to be happy. But when you go down, mm -hmm. choosing it in the downside, in the bottom of the curve, is is your choice. And if you choose to be happy, that brings you up. As mm -hmm. you just get air inside you, and as a bubble, you go to the surface and fly. But it just doesn't happen um, quickly, though. It's it's a process, isn't it? Like, you know, when you decide that you don't want to be in the dark, it just doesn't happen right away. The experience in 3D, 3D reality involves time. It's a very artificial construct, the time. But you are designed, you chose that reality where time is a, a big factor. Mm -hmm. You can play with it one way or another, but uh, the best way is to accept it. The best way is to forgive it. Yes, enjoy the ride even if there are, this part of the ride is dark. You choose and allow the circumstances to bring you up choose and strive and allow the, your angels and your spirit guides, your friends and circumstances to help you to get up yes. and forward. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Roha. You're welcome. Thank you. These are great questions and great sharings. Much love. I'm starting I'm to wrap. Yes, go ahead. I'm so happy to interact with you. As, oh, um, I'm uh, happy to. Nice, nice to be in your presence. Hello, Roha. I'm Gabriel. I came in. Hey, Gabriel. Hi. How are you today? I, I just channeled a little bit to Mary and Guru Dan. So that was exciting. My congratulations. Welcome to the world of channeling, the world of unpredictable, the world of connecting the sky and the earth. Yes. Do you have any tips about the work, Adi? Because I feel like I have Stay to do the work. Stay healthy. Stay healthy, stay grounded, try to plan a little bit, try to, that's a good word, try, right? Try to bring your friends in, strive, how about strive, to bring your friends in, create a protected environment, channel to people you know who are very supportive, grow your channel as you would grow a plant which needs water, light, and time and care for it and love. Treat it as a baby, as a pet. Because the mm. the people at my working place have been very become very negative people that I don't resonate. So I kinda feel like I need to leave there. Ah. So, ah, and that's a challenging situation and not knowing if I can trust just leaving, and I know it's going to work out, but I still have a little bit worried. Yeah. Uh, mm. Consider finding the place to land before you leave. Maybe you can just find another place first, and then go from this place to another. 
mm, your parents would be happy if you kept working. If you started going their way astray, channeling and not working, they would be really upset. Yeah, and I wouldn't have any place to stay. Ah, how going. about you just forgive your co-workers and find a way to fix the situation? Why, how bad is it? It's more like they are very negative when they working and do stuff around me. They swearing and putting out a lot of negativity and gets frustrated about everything. Why does it bother you? Why can't you be happy and helping yeah, I, and healing yeah, the, the, the environment? Yeah, I'm happy in healing, but they they wish not to receive it. So I don't. Why do you worry be, about it? I don't worry. I don't wish to be around them every day. Ah. It's your choice, but again, it is just a perception. You can choose to react to that completely differently and be so happy. Yeah, there is a uh, imagine a nice gentleman who is just so happy to be in your place and say thank you, thank you, thank you for hiring me. It's so wonderful. Oh, you curse so well, and so on. You don't have to take it negatively. It's not, especially because they are not unhappy to you. They are not unhappy about you. They are unhappy about themselves. It doesn't yeah. really matter. You can yeah. shine and just build a wall, and you can shine. Yeah, but it's I would not love, that, lo love to meet more people and connect to new ideas. And uh, yes, that's a better excuse. And go right. to uh, because if you go to other place, you will discover that the next place would be even worse. So you go to the third place, and the third place, they're not only in your <laughs> place; they're doing. In other place, they would be not doing something and still be negative, right? And the worst thing are the people who are doing negative stuff to others, hurt others, and that's where the most money are and most activity are, right? So, mm, yeah, search for a better place, imagine it, find it, and uh, prepare your place of landing before you leave. That would be my humble suggestion. Of course, if you know better, uh, go for it. But jumping off the bridge without the parachute is not a great idea. Yes, I know it's in the end going to work out, but it's just trusting it, that believing that, uh, that I can just leave there and Everything work out. That's a little bit challenging still for me. I know, I know, yes, but uh, you are dependent on your parents. So you have to discuss it with them and work out. Maybe your parents can help you find a better place. They are very powerful and they are very helpful. They want you the best. Describe to them that you exhausted the learning opportunities at your place. You already know everything and there is not much more you can learn. Maybe they can help you to shift to another position in a different location and you might learn more there. Yeah, they told me that I, I'm going to start looking for other jobs right now. So, I will see. Sounds great. See how that works. Sounds great. Keep in mind, channeling could bring you money, but not anything compared in the first times. Not anything compared to what you make now. So you cannot hope that you will start channeling and become Bashar in one year. It takes. Usually it takes uh, longer. And, and you don't want to sit in the one room talking to people on the internet. You want to meet people as well. That is also a factor, yes. I hope I help. Um, I don't want to bring you down, but 
Uh, we see many of light workers quitting their jobs. Many of you quit their jobs. And then things are not going as expected. They, they bring the energies down, bring health down. Uh, yes, you create your reality, but you have to create it in a way that it is continuous. You don't want just to jump off the bridge and break yourself, right? Yes. Because the... you play by the rules of physical reality. Your mind, your body, everything is designed to play according to the rules. You made an agreement, you made a uh, contract. So you, you play by the rules. And the rules are, if you lose your job, you become poor, and your health suffers. If you don't have an idea how you will make your money, you might get in trouble. That's yeah. kind of a consensus. What happens to me in my lifetime is whenever I don't have any money at all, somehow I get the money in a surprising way. And the job I had before I left, and then I felt if everything would work out, and then I fix the apartment and where I should stay and everything. And they never do it in Sweden, but somehow they did it for me. And that was interesting. Oh, so you're hoping a miracle will happen? I know it's going to happen, but it might not okay. be the way you're focusing on. All right. Uh, possible. Mm. The probability of the miracle is low. Ah, because it is a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, congratulations on your channeling. It's exciting. You don't have to quit the job just because you started to channel. Yes, I am very confident of that. All right, I will start to wrap up. Do we have any urgent questions before we close? I, I, I got caught out, so I couldn't hear it. <laughs> oh. But I can listen later. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't remember what I said. Oh, I said, don't quit the job just because you started channeling. That's what I said. No. And congratulations on starting to channel. May your channeling become your protection. The channeling will change you, but maybe you can adjust and keep your job until you find a better one. That's my strong suggestion. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any urgent things before we close? Um, Roha, my question is not very urgent. I just want I just I was just wondering uh you yell civilization, um uh, what is the population of your yell? I can give you only confusing answer because the exact numbers don't come through. But the idea is that in every of the timeline, there is not as many EL, but because we exist in multiple timelines uh, and in multiple walls and multiple shapes and planets all together, the number of souls in the world could be comparable to the Earth population. That's unfortunately I cannot give you a more precise answer. No, that's fine. We are almost seven, seven billion human right. beings on Earth now, and I was just wondering what is the population uh, for you, yell. So you're saying that um, you yell living in, in different uh, dimensions. Yes, and timelines, which uh, approximately match the Earth population, but mm -hmm. not in a single timeline, not in a single area. 
And uh, could you tell me uh, how how did you come about uh, to uh, contact uh, Max? Uh, why did you choose Max, and uh, what happened um, before the connection or during the connection? Mm, I was present during the first session when Jim channeled this do to Max. So I was introduced back then and I kept an eye on Max and uh, offering my energy and Max feels pretty happy with my energy. Aww. Maybe it helps that I have both male and female energies and that I'm light-minded and generally very positive and happy and project the happiness. I think here we resonate with Max. Yes. And what is what is your what is your agenda? Uh, uh, about my personal or the the Yale agenda? Both, both. My personal agenda is to be of service. I find it very exciting to study human relationships by watching from above and by walking down on earth and by speaking to you. That's fascinating. Relationships, especially between light workers, yes. And between light workers and not so light workers, yes. Now, the agenda of Yael is to be of service as well. We are the fifth hybrid race. And the humanity of Earth is destined, karmically destined, to become the sixth hybrid race. And we are the closest to you genetically among the galactic races. So we have been offered an opportunity to serve. And we are here to serve you in the process of your ascension. Many other star people are working side by side with us, helping you as well. Oh, awesome. We are elected to be the first ones to establish the first contact, first official open contact. And we are working very hard to make it closer and to make it successful to prevent the collapse and global disaster when it happens or to minimize it. Mm -hmm. We are not permitted, it would be not be wise to provide you with the, with the technologies. That's the disadvantage. Some negative races like some of reptilians, Orions, some of Orions, some of reptilians, some of the Zeta Grays exchange in the past the technologies <laughs> for the favors from the Earth governments. And we cannot do the same. We are at a disadvantage in that competition because if we give you technologies, these might likely be used for weapons and war and mind control yeah. and de de delay in the ascension. So we wish you to succeed and we don't want to give you technologies which will delay your ascension. Rahul? But otherwise, we want to help you. Rahul? Yes. Rahul? Yes. Yeah. Do you tap up on our higher self when you speak to us? Yes, of course. But uh, the part of me which is down here is largely shadowed by the veil. I am connected through Max's higher self more than through my connection. It is my energy, but... But the, the, because Max is starting to channel, the information is not flowing freely. Also, I'm not very much authorized to uh, show miracles here. Miracles are dosed, so I cannot give you predictions and other miracles of clairvoyance at the moment. I, I wish to do so, but <coughs> I can promote the ideas of ascension and help you in your process, but miracles are very restricted and limited. Yes. 
So uh, you tap through Max's higher self, and your Max's higher self As contacts well. our higher self, right? Yeah, we both here tap through higher selves here and other ways of getting the information. But uh, it's time for me to start wrapping up. The oh, energy is okay. going down. In no general, Max and I co-create this interaction. We even discuss what we will discuss and talk and things like that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, is there anybody here who is who could give us a blessing before we close? I can do it. I came in late. Thank you. Much blessings to everybody. Oh, thank you. Max is here. I, I needed to, to finish already. I couldn't uh, continue. <laughs> Sorry to learn for me. Yeah, um, that's that that was very good, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you, everybody. Who who do I have here? Let let me read. I just want to to know. It looks like it's full audience. We had Daniel Andy here, uh, very um, old acquaintance. I I knew him from the time when I just started learning about Bashar. He helped me. Atava, <coughs> Gabriel, Goda. Daniel. Goda is Mark, right? God is Mark, and then Harris, and Jasmine. Hey, Mary, and Noah. Thank you, everybody. And well, appreciate um, it. You can so much. support support these channelings by sending five ten dollar donations through PayPal to Max at humancolony.org. Okay. That would really help me to to do more of those because I need just encouragement from you to to continue. Okay. And I offer private sessions, reserve a private sessions. My email is max at humancolony.org. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for sharing and co creating this interaction. Yeah. Did you have uh, any yes, information yes. to give for the Saturday event? Uh, were you going to Yongin? Uh, tomorrow at, at 10 a.m., uh, there is a collective group webinar. I hope to be there too. Uh, so tune up to humancolony.org and there is announcement and either join it or watch it. It um, should be pretty fantastic. It's several channels participating. Yes. Roxanne Swainhart will probably be there. What should yep. be told? See what's happened. So Jim is absent, but other channelers will be playing together, co-creating a very novel way of doing the webinars. Perfect. All right. Goodbye, Good everybody. Thank Take you. Care. Much love to you, Mark.